Jones from Jones World Tour. Fuck that guy. What the fuck is going on? Welcome back to a new video. There's a ton of food videos on YouTube. Those videos include food challenges, ASMRs. These are not in a particular order. Eating hot peppers, drinking the most milk, the most obscure things involving food. Food in YouTube, you just can't have YouTube without food or food without YouTube. I mean, if you take a look at it, even Gordon Ramsay has like dug his toes into the sand of what is YouTube. What's wrong with you? I'm trying to work, Chef. I'm trying yeah. to communicate. Wake up! Yes, Chef. You! What's wrong with you? Nothing. I've kind of broken down this food planet YouTube thing into different categories. I want to start with the first one. Huh. Now, food challenges. Hear me out. When I view a food challenge, I want to see a challenge, dude. I want I want you to go shoe nights nice I want you to drink seven bottles of vodka while eating a Big Mac. I want you to eat a scorpion and do a backflip at the same time. I want to know a weak ass you're in your car and you're eating nachos and you call that a fucking challenge? Dude. I want to see challenges, baby. And one hero we have who we do not deserve is Matt Stoney. Yeah. I can do this off. I'm gonna get him. You got me. This dude eats so much food, man. It makes me, it makes me breathe heavy. Like I feel the cholesterol rising in my damn heart, and my arteries are just like squeezing, bro. Matt Stoney is a pro. What he does is at a pro level. He knows what he's doing. You could tell. It's like okay, he may not look like a food pro eater. Well, you could definitely tell that he takes this shit seriously. And then we have the other food challenges. <laughs> like I just sneezed out Twinkie cream. Oh, want a bit of bacon? Yeah. Man. Oh yeah, Mr. Crab. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. I want you to stony it up, put your stony pants on, buy 12 boxes of pizza, and eat it. That's the kind of challenges I want to see. Then we have food review. Food review. We have some interesting characters when it comes to the food review spectrum. Mark Wise, or Mike Wentz, or Mark Obama. I don't know how to pronounce it. The way he shoots his reviews, so clean. He uses a plethora of words to describe what he's eating. It's like, it's like he puts like, like some kind of transporter in your mouth and you can kind of taste it with, by, by just him explaining what a burger tastes like. It's insane. It's like virtual reality for your tongue. Angles, you have like a five shot angle. One, two, three, four, five. You get like the undershot too, right in the gooch. The way, the way he just, ah, Mark Wise, you are the man. He gives you the backstory of the burger, like where this burger came from. This burger came from the streets. He had to fight his way up to, to Beverly Hills to make it on this plate for you. Eat your sandwich. Eat your burger with gusto. He gave you the backstory of the side items. Like this cup was originally made in China, but he didn't want to be from China, so he went to Switzerland. And then. <laughs> you have other food reviewers who they're they're really good don't get me wrong they're just they are characters man they are so strange and that just keeps people coming back for more as you can tell by the views a shy mere of two million views per video characters such as review bra he wears a suit every time he says this is report of the week food review every time dude like you, you're like something's wrong with this guy but I love to watch him eat. Uh, and then you have the high-spirited Joey. Hey everyone, it's Joe for Joey Super Cool Food Reviews. I'm <clears throat> Joey is a big guy. He loves to eat. He's passionate about it. He says woo 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 every time he loves food. <laughs> woo woo woo. Yeah, 
This guy gets pretty pissed whenever you fuck huh. up his order, bro. Taking too much work, it's too hard. Stop McWhining, you whiners. <laughs> That's what makes him so entertaining. Quite honestly, I have more of a good time watching his videos when he's pissed about a McDonald's employee not throwing in some napkins or sauce. Mukbangs. I fucking hate them. I fucking hate mukbangs. Stupid little stories like my first kiss. Kiss me. I don't want to hear about your first kiss yeah. while you eat chicken wings. I don't want to hear about your bar mitzvah. When you wake up before you brush your teeth, you grab your scrapling. All the time you get down on your knees, you're crowding. Mukbangs. What happened to a family dinner? Yes, Mars. Hi, I'm here. Uh, welcome to my channel, and this is what I do. What I do is I eat very closely to a mic, like so. Today I'm gonna eat a paper. I, I heard it has a lot of good carbs and a lot of a lot of good fats. So today we're gonna, we're gonna eat it. But please ignore my dialogue because you guys are not here to hear me talk. You're here to hear me chew. So let's do it. What is wrong with you people? It's so disgusting, bro. I can't stand people chewing loudly next to me. This is like a step down from mukbang. This lady's eating live octopuses. That's how you say it, right? She's eating live octopi and putting it in soy sauce. And you can hear every single detail, bro. ASMRs are what psychopaths use to go to sleep. Like if Ted Bundy had a soundtrack, it would be the ASMR YouTube playlist. It's insane, bro. People like these things. And quite honestly, I'm disgusted. I'm hurt. Now, the one thing I have yet to see is the combination of all of these powerhouses. Why can I not have a food challenge, a great food review, a little mukbang session and an ASMR all-in-one video. Hey guys, welcome to another food review. Um, my name's Old Professional, and this is my food review slash ASMR slash food challenge. Um, a little backstory of the chip. Did you know that chips actually saved people from the plague back in 1980? <laughs> Amazing. As you can see the detail on this chip, it's definitely a chip. And this chip is pretty crunchy, as you can tell by the texture. Now, here I am about to attempt the challenge. As you can see, I'm, I'm hyping myself up, and this is like the, the anti-get-your-girl-ready-for-a-good-time maneuver. Kind of releasing the ponytail to unleash the power. And right there, oh wow, what? Oh, that's a lot of detail in the chip. Okay, the timer has started, and uh, I'm, I'm chewing, and I think it hit the side of my gum a little bit, and it hurt. It hurt a little bit. Oh, ah. That was my food video for YouTube. <laughs> oh my god. If you guys watched through the whole entire video, I am very surprised. I really enjoy making this. And if you guys like the video, give it a big old thumbs up. Grab the comment section and just put your face on it. And the subscribe button, just look at it while you're putting your face on the comment section and just punch it in the face for me again thank you guys for coming in you could have been doing anything but you're here with me and i thank you for being unprofessional till the next video lasagna